today's video my name is emma stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats if you are new here we are a disney loving family i will leave um playlists below we've been to disney world disneyland paris disney cruise and um, we recently got back from disney world in florida we had the most amazing holiday and i thought i would show you a haul of all the things i got so i'm going to split this haul into different bits we're going to have um, free bits you can pick up around the parks, we're going to have stuff I bought around the parks and in the outlet and then at the end it's going to be other bits and bobs that I got whilst I was over in America because you know America has great sweets and Ray Dunn stuff and Bath and Body Works so I will do all that good stuff as well so it's going to be a big chunky haul. Right, are we ready? Let's get started. Okay, I am going to start off with the free bits and bobs. So, there are certain things that you can get in Disney for free whilst you are over there, um, you know, which are really good little mementos of your holiday, of your trip. So, don't forget, you can get badges, you can get them in your hotels, you can also get them at points in the parks and um, like customer services under the little train station. They'll ha they had like a box that you could go and get, you can get badges. And we got, I'm celebrating fourth visit. There are like happily ever after badges if you're getting married or um, spending an anniversary. There are first visit badges. <coughs> there are dog <coughs> dogs just barking. <coughs> Uh, happy birthday badges before I was rudely interrupted by my pup. So don't forget to grab one of these. They're really, really fun. You can have, I'm celebrating, they'll write anything on it or you get a, I got a um, mark on myself whilst I was there and wrote what I wanted to on it. So don't forget to pick up those. Also, we went to Universal and did you know they have them at Universal as well? I'm celebrating and we got a second uh, visit. They had birthday ones as well, I saw. And my girl queued up at guest services and got us one of these. That was really good. Got one of those each. Also, of course, maps. So there's maps for all the parks, uh, Universal, Disney Springs, um, even the water parks have maps. Now, we like to keep the maps because I like to craft a memory box for the kids and all the pins and bits and bobs. So I often like to use a map as the background of that and it's just a really really fun little memory i think i'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments if i'm wrong i think the maps change every couple of weeks maybe or maybe they used to please let me know in the comments um just to kind of update but we got the 50th map so really really pleased with those we went to epcot and it was the flower and garden festival and you could get a little booklet and if you collected, you know, you could tick off stuff that you ate. And also there was some stickers somewhere. Not sure where those have gone. Um, and if you collected, there's five different snacks and you would get like a free pudding. Or maybe it was stamps. Um, we didn't. We, I think we had one. Yeah, Erin had corn on the cob, which was absolutely delightful. It was like corn on the cob and had like a garlicky crust. Chef's kiss. Also in Epcot, if you have kiddos, or even if you don't have kiddos, you might want to do it yourself, you can do Kidcot. You get a little bag. And in every country around the World Showcase, you pick up a little card that's got colouring on the back and also a little sticker. And there's no reason to have these. It's just fun. There's no prize. There's nothing you get at the end. You just get a cute sticker, a cute card, some cute colouring in, and it's something to keep the kids occupied as you walk, as you blind yourself with a plastic bag as you walk around. Another thing that we got that was free, we went to the Garden Grill, and at that time there was no autographs, and autographs and hugs came back whilst we were over there. Go and check that vlog out. It was really, really good. So Garden Grill, which I did vlog, um, they gave these little cards out with autographs on. So that was fab, that was free. Now this was kind of free but not free. So often they have a little challenge. Um, so at the moment they've got the flower and garden one. You go around and you collect the stickers and you, you look for a bee and then you add the accompanying sticker. And we also did the Easter one. Now these were $10 each but you got a free it's not free, is it? Because you paid $10. You got a free Tupperware at the end. Um, a figment one, um, and we got a bee one. What is the bee called? Spike the bee. So they're really good. 
World Showcase is a brilliant, it's quite a long walk for little legs, so anything you can do that will keep them motivated is good in my books. We also got a free um, flower garland from the Polynesian. We weren't staying at the Polynesian, we just went over to have a doll whip. If you remember on my Insta stories, we went to have a doll whip and I actually ordered it for Magic Kingdom, waited for it, it was a whole thing, it was a whole thing, it was all, I did it all wrong and Stephen spotted they were giving these out and grabbed one of those. We also got some beads from Universal Studios from the Mardi Gras. If you are considering going to Universal Studios next year, I definitely try and head at the Mardi Gras time. It was chef's kiss amazing. So there are the free bits and bobs. I am gonna move on to the pins. And somebody actually met me and was like, I'm talking very close to you now. You will be showing the pins. Of course I'll be showing the pins. Okay, so, pins. The children both got one of these off the Easter Bunny. It is an Eeyore. No, it's not, it's Piglet. It's a Piglet. They did have these in the pin trading shop. I thought these were nice um, Easter ones. So the children got one of those each off the Easter Bunny. This may have come from Shop Disney in England. Only the Easter Bunny could tell you. Now, I always like to buy certain pins. I like to buy pins that are kind of um, representing the time that we went. So we've got a 50th pin, which is Mickey and Minnie. They had Chip and Dale and all sorts of things. And it's the colour yellow. <sighs> I don't know what the colour yellow means. They're about, they range from about $10 to $20. So I think this is probably like, a ten dollar one so i got a 50 pin i also know this was an expensive one this was a 20 dollar pin i got a limited edition but there was lots of them there a limited edition flower and garden festival pin i love i always get a year pin so i got look at this oh, oh. i bet this is quite a lot all oh, 14.99 this was i got a 2022 pin so that'll go on my pin board I got, I like to buy my kids a pin each, which they're not allowed to trade because they do do pin trading. They have to keep as a special mummy's memories pin. And I got my little boy the Skyliner pin because he loved it and that says silver. Unsure what that means, these are both silver. Um, if you know what silver means, the price, comment below guys so we can all see. And uh, my girl is obsessed with turning red. So I got her the turning red pin. And I picked up in the outlet, we outlet, we're gonna come on to the outlet stuff now. I picked up a 2021 cruise line pin, which I was really pleased about, because when we went on the cruise last year, they didn't have any. So I've got a 2021 cruise pin, 5.99. The outlet is brilliant for pins, because sometimes pins there are like 3.99, and it's great to grab a few and then literally just go out and trade them. Oh, pins I traded for. Um, I took some old pins and I managed to pick up three pennants, Walt Disney World pennants, which I love. I got the yellow, the green and the blue. And I also got this one. This was from the Grand Floridian and I did scream. It's a Main Street Mickey. I've got dressed as a Dapper Dan. And I exchanged it for some sort of terrible Star Wars one I didn't want. And it was an absolute thrill. Right, let's come on to the outlet stuff. You may have already seen the outlet come shot with me. If not, go and check that out. But here's some of the bits and bobs I picked up from the outlet. So the Disney outlets, there's two. There's Vineland and Orlando Premium outlets. They've both got really similar names. So it's a bit confusing. They're both great. You could pop along, you can pick up seasonal stuff. They had loads of Halloween stuff, they had loads of Christmas stuff. Fab. So I got for $3.99, I got Home is Where the Haunt is. You know, I love the Haunted Mansion. Pad, love that. For Margot for Christmas, instead of $17.99, this is $7.99. I got a Christmas dog collar. Yes, please. Now, these badges were $9.99, I got them for $3.99, and I actually bought some similar to this, and it says, I'm here for the ears, I'm here for the autographs, and I wondered if they were cheap, because you couldn't do autographs, and now you can, so I'm not sure if these might have vanished. I got me some Christmas ears, now how much are these? They were not, they, in the parks, originally they were $29.99, and were they were not that much. 
Does this mean I have to go at Christmas now? I think it does. I've got some Christmas ears. I got a t-shirt um, in the shop. It's loads of t-shirts. I don't know how much this was, about $10 or something. And I was like, will it fit me, will it fit me? I could have done with a size up, but they didn't have a size up, but it's fine. It will fit nice with a skirt. And it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it's just like a castle. I like that a lot. Erin and I both got for 49 cent a little keyring. She got an alien head. I got a little Mickey hat. And then, because we went in whilst autographs, this this is classic Disney. So we went, you can do autographs for the first week. Autograph books in the shop were 99 cent. And we, I was like, gonna pick up a couple of them because autographs will come back eventually and we might get them in Paris. We should have got more. As soon as autographs came, Autograph books are straight in the park, full price, because there were people like, I need to get autograph books for my kids. So I'm glad I grabbed a couple of these um, official autograph books and I will keep these for our next trip, like a super savvy mum that I am. Okay, so let's move on to, I bought kind of some, I didn't buy a spirit jersey this time, which I usually buy. I didn't buy a Disney mug, which I usually buy. But I did buy a couple of pieces of, like, artwork. Let me try and get kind of artwork. Well, one is definitely artwork. Okay, so this is not artwork, but it will be when I finish it. I'm going to put it in a frame. I got some vintage pennants, red one, and a blue one. And I think these will look so nice framed somewhere in the house i just think a little cheeky ikea frame with these two in it says walt disney world 50 on the back these are 14.99 and i just thought this is a just really nice and vintage and i absolutely i just loved them i loved the vintage range i had like a lunch box which was amazing i didn't get and every time i was like i'm gonna get it and i thought i'm gonna get it home we had to get an extra bag to fit all my kids could toys in didn't get it so every holiday Stephen treats me to something um, as a little mem, and the mems, and he got me, I'm gonna have to be careful how I open this, because it's in like a special, it's in a special packet. I'm scared I'm gonna rip it. I don't think there's any other way around, I just think I'm gonna have to rip it. Okay, so he got me. In Disney Springs, and I'm sure they must have it somewhere else. They have artists, um, and he got me an artist imprint of Mickey Mouse, done by Caitlin Colasini. Okay, so they have like um, artists. I don't know how you would describe them. They have two artists sitting there, and they do different prints of Disney characters and this is a Mickey one that she did, it's got her name on, it's got like the little logo and this is $50, they do all sorts of ones and this will definitely go in a frame and this will go in our living room and it's a really beautiful, beautiful memory and I was very happy. Stephen was like, well it's kind of like a joint present because I want it in the house as well and I was like, yes. So, how special is that? And it came in a little packet. Another thing that I got that, um, will be for, we're hoping to get an extension. I think I've been saying this in a year's videos. We're hoping to get an extension, we're hoping to get an extension. And when we do, I'd quite like it to be decorated in like a Disney themes, like holiday, you know, Florida themes. And I picked up this Universal. Now this was $16 and it comes in this really nice like plastic case. It's really nice. Um, a vintage Universal Florida post that and Stephen went when all these rides were there so he absolutely loved this and I thought this would be great in a frame or just on the wall as is but yeah he was like oh I saw all those rides and obviously some of those rides have gone the ET ride's still there but yeah he loved that okay and the last little Disney thing <coughs> oops can you hear a bit of Ray done the last little Disney thing was something that I read Hang on, bear with. 
this was something that I really wanted to keep my eye out for. It was quite expensive. Oh no, but two things. It was quite expensive, but this was something that I really, really wanted to look. I'd looked for it online, I couldn't find it. And I'm sure some of you are now will leave comments below going, you could get it from WH Schmizzle. You can get it from somewhere much cheaper, but I got it in the parks and it is the Disney Parks Theme Park Edition Monopoly. What a crazy lady I am. <laughs> What a wild, crazy hobby lady I am. We love Monopoly. We've got Simpsons Monopoly. We've got three different types of Monopoly. I can't remember what the other ones are. We've got Normal Monopoly, Simpsons Monopoly, and another one. But I thought this would be brilliant. It's got in it Rise of the Resistance. Classic Disney Park iconic properties from both coasts. Um, Slinky Dog Dash on it. You can have like a popcorn, or you could be Cinderella's shoe, or you could be the little boat that goes over. So, really happy I got that, and I know we will absolutely love playing that together as a family. And if that makes me a geek, so be it. Right, that's all the Disney stuff, so if you wanna kind of, oh no, hang on. This was not from the Disney parks, but this is Disney stuff. Um, Stephen and I, I bought Stephen one and I got myself one. Got from the Coca-Cola shop this fab Coca-Cola um, Mickey Keering, which I got him one, got me one, I just thought it was really nice. I really like the Coca-Cola shop. I went to the top and had, uh, I had like a 50th Bellini. Wasn't very nice. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Didn't really like it. Wouldn't recommend. And then we went to Walmart, which was just... Why have I never been to warm up before? It was brilliant. It was an amazing place. It was a place of dreams. And I picked up a couple of just cheesy look earrings. A Jack Skellington one and a Mickey one. And I think like $4 or something. And the kids got a couple of plastic ones which are like $2. Why I've never been before, I don't know. But I'm never going to make that mistake again. It's now going to be added onto every list. Every holiday we go, we're hitting Walmart. Okay. So... If that's where you want to go, if you want to dip out now, the Disney stuff's gone, you may. I'm now moving on to other stuff I like from Florida. Are we ready? The Dollar Tree. So I went to the Dollar Tree. I didn't get a great amount because I was aware that we weren't going to be able to fit much in, or much more in our cases. But I did see these little caddies and these um, little desk dividers and I think I will have a few and I think I'll give my girl some and these are just really really nice I wonder they've got like little I wonder if they stack up they maybe they stack up actually um but these will be in our drawers and I just thought they were really really cute I didn't really get anything else I got some colour in for the kids to do whilst they were there treats America Americans. Your sweets, or your candy as you call it, are amazing. Now I know you're going to tell me that you can get this stuff in b and some of the stuff, but it's not going to be as cheap. These sweets were cheap. These were like $2. I bought my mom like a massive box of twiz bag of Twizzlers for like $2. I don't want to be paying 10 quid. So I've got my fave, Airheads. Love them. Love them. Wish I got more than one pack, but I didn't. I love them. I'm actually salvating. This one's already been opened. It must have been Donald. Couldn't have been me. Twizzlers. Low fat snack. Yeah, low fat because it's full of flipping sugar. It ain't got no fat in it, but it's got enough sugar to blow your mind. Um, I've got the orange filled ones. I'm really, really, really going to be so strict with these. And I'm going to stick to a two a day minimum. My favourite. Sweet and sour cherry kick and citrus, 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 citrus pump. Citrus punch. If you're going to America, get them in your gar. And finally rainbow ones. These won't be as nice as the others because these aren't as full of gooey gunk as these ones are but um love those these it's gonna be keeping me going for a few months also planning ahead i'm thinking of my um 
hot chocolate stations of the future. And I, they're gonna be in day, and I picked up a couple of bags of Ghirardelli. I've got dark chocolate mint, which will probably be for my Christmas. Hot chocolate stations. <laughs> You're like, Emma, you've lost, you've actually lost the plot. And I've got caramel brownie, which will be for my Halloween one. They didn't have peppermint bark, I was sad, but they had these two. Have I lost my mind? Yes. I tell you when I did lose my mind, when I went into TJ, I think it was TJ Maxx. In England, it's called TK Maxx. And I think there's some sort of story that I may have seen on Tiki Toki, so unsure if it's true. And I think that they had to call it, in one of the countries, I think it's TJ Maxx, and they had to call it TK Maxx in England because a TJ Maxx already existed. Let me know if that's true. I get all my news from TikTok, could be wrong. Went in, Easter display at the front, everything was half price. <coughs> So I got a, for $5.50, Hello Spring Mug, yellow, very done. Hot Chick, that's me, pink, very done, $5.50. $10, Cotton Tail Cutie, also me. Am I gonna have to wait a year before I can use these? Sure. Sure, is it worth it? A hundred percent. I love the Raydun stuff. You lot always comment on it. Um, I can use this hot chick one in normal everyday basis because I am a hot chick, obviously. You guys always comment on Raydun. I always get them from TJ Maxx. You can get them from various shops. Don't get them in England. It's bonkers, isn't it? We used to. Sometimes you get the odd like a planter or something, but no, we don't get them in England. And then coming on to Bath and Body Works. So, Bath and Body Works, I got buy two, get two free candles, so I got four candles. Um, I used to get all the hand washes and stuff, but they just they just pop in the case, and it's just, anyway, it's too much room. So I got two, buy two, get two free candles. They're $24.50, remember when you get to the till in America, you have to add VAT, so some things, you think, oh, and then you get to the till, and you're like, oh. But it kind of worked out that that means this would be about £24, but it's buy two, get one free. Free! So I got picked up two of the strawberry pound cake. I don't even know what a pound cake is, but this smells delightful. It is like a um, strawberry mivy ice cream ice lol, if you know what I'm talking about. Those who grew up in the 80s and, you know, that was the only ice lol we had. There weren't no calipos. I also picked up a iced lemon pound cake. And this smells so familiar to me and so comforting, but I couldn't tell you. I don't know if it's like a lemon cake or phenom, phenomenal. And then sprinkled birthday cake, rainbow sprinkles, vanilla fluff, fl fluffing, <laughs> vanilla, vanilla frosting. This is quite a delicate one. I'll let you know in my stories what it's like when I um light it that's me lighting a candle i also got some hand sanitizers because as you know in this day and age we all need hand sanitizer i picked up um and these were on offer i think these were five for seven dollars seven dollars i picked up two strawberry pancake as i said obviously i'm obsessed with that i got this for my friend rachel which says girls supporting girls ensure of the scent the scent of girl power i don't know what that would smell like I got Life is Sweet Pink Bubblegum. And I got this from my other friend Jocelyn, Root for each other, because she loves plants. And I think that's about it. I did find one other thing. I bought myself a new Disney Parks rucksack. Um, and this was $60, and it is phenomenal. It's got two places to put drinks. Obviously, got two kids, so we need two bottle holders. It's got like a little secret zip here. So you can put your money in. It's got so many pockets. It's also got like a pocket where you can put like a charger so you can battery charge stuff. Whew. And that's it. Really hope that you enjoyed the Walt Disney World vlogs. We enjoyed our holiday. It was so magical and brilliant. And take me back. Put me on a plane. I want to see my guy. 
Um, we have no plans as I'm filming this to go, but we will go. We'll go back next year. And I am um, hopeful that we will go to Disneyland Paris this year because it is the 30th and I like the idea of spending the 50th in Florida, the 30th in Paris and, um, excuse me, I'm just still really jet lagged. I'm filming this a few days after we got back. You're like, Emma, you're still jet lagged. You came back three weeks ago. Well, I'm filming this just so I can put this away. Um, I actually visited Disneyland Paris the year it opened. I went with my school, they did a school trip. It was like a really big thing. So it'd be really fun to go back and celebrate that. Right guys, I love you a lot. It will be, we'll be back with normal service. We'll resume Poundland, B&M, Costco, weekly vlogs, chatty stuff. Thanks for sticking around for the Disney adventure. I love ya. And I'll see you in another few days for another upload.